Mr. Nishant Kumar Robin, congratulations on securing All India Rank 2 in the Instrumentation Branch of Engineering and All India Rank 9 in the Electronics Communication Paper in the GATE 2024. Uh, Mr. Nishant, uh, you have availed from AS Academy the AS Online Test Series for the GATE and also AS Online Test Series for the ESE 2024. Uh, Nishan, please tell us how this CS Academy online test series helped you in your preparation and cracking this gate exam with such a wonderful ranks. Uh, yeah, uh, first of all, thank you, sir, for your uh, support. Uh, not only after this result, but during the preparation also, CS Academy has always been helpful. So for uh, test series, uh, I have always said that uh, uh, this is my third attempt in gate. Okay. So, and uh, since 2022, I have managed to secure uh, good ranks. So, I was all India rank 10th and 14th last uh, two years. So, every time I always suggest that we should, uh, if you are preparing for GATE, uh, ACE Academy test series is a must. And I will tell you why. Uh, many platforms have this test series, right? But the user interface and the ease to use uh, the website that is, I find, exceptional uh, when we talk about uh, this ACE Academy test series. And uh, after uh, the test is done, we have a detailed analysis of all the questions that went wrong, all the questions that we did not attempt. And uh, we get uh, an all-India rank kind of uh, thing, like out of all the students who have attempted, what is your rank? Uh, what are the toppers rank? Uh, what is the average rank? So that actually helps a student to understand his position and what areas he uh, needs to work on so anyways uh, for any junior who ever asks me for a test series i always recommend that uh, you should take ace academy test series because it is just the best in the industry anishant uh, you said you already got a very good ranks in the earlier gate exams right. why you took again this year gate exam uh okay sir so uh, i completed my btech from iit bhu so Taking Good. gate uh, for uh, MTech was not uh, very necessary for me. But yeah. being from elect electronics background, uh, and uh, I am a core student, means uh, I prefer to uh, learn the core of electronics rather than the coding part. So for such students, I think gate is uh, a wonderful uh, uh, opportunity, wonderful experience to uh, take gate and uh, know what is your rank in uh, uh, the entire country. So mainly I uh, took a gate examination for that. And plus also, uh, now I'm working with uh, NVIDIA. So yeah. I just wanted to uh, be in touch with all these uh, core subjects that I felt like uh, that are being left behind. So I just wanted to uh, be in touch and see if I recall those uh, topics. So that's it. Okay. So very good, Nishan. So you wanted to be perfectly in touch with your core subjects. Right. So you have been learning and you want to test yourself, right? You are going right. to be perfect in these uh, technical subjects, right? Very right. good, and Nishant, right? Nishant, uh, from your successful uh, experience with very good academic record, uh, you please, because in, if you see this, for example, yes, online test series, it has got uh, many tests there. You have subject-based tests are there, and then grand tests are there, and then full-length mock tests also there. So for a fresher, for a fresher who is starting this gate preparation seriously, how he has to schedule these various mock exams along with the preparation? Uh, okay, so when a fresher starts the preparation, he can start the test series uh, at the uh, very beginning also. For, uh, for example, especially the chapter-wise tests. So once you go through a subject and you are going through one or two or three chapters, that time you can start with the chapters uh, wise test because, and in ACE Academy, the thing is that uh, the questions are not very tough. The questions are not very easy. So the thing is that will always keep you in check, like what you need to study up to what level you need to study. So I always suggest that from the starting only, you can go for chapter wise tests. And once at the end of uh, maybe November or December, when you have a hold uh, over uh, vast portions of your syllabus, and uh, once you are comfortable with eight or nine subjects, if not all, even if you are uh, comfortable with eight or nine subjects, then you can start with the subject-wise tests. 
subject wise tests uh, are very helpful because uh, they give you a balanced approach certain chapters might be weak in certain subjects that is uh, perfectly normal but when you give a subject wise test that balances out so you are not demotivated and uh, after subject wise test in january mostly you can go for uh, mock tests because uh, i think 10 to 12 mock tests are more than enough to uh, get uh, the feel of your preparation and the rank this uh, this time also i think it was a new initiative or i don't know if it uh, existed uh, previous year also but uh, there was a pre gate that uh, was organized by yes 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 yeah so i took part in that and that was a wonderful experience actually because that was i think a couple of weeks uh, before the actual examination yeah and it was uh, perfectly timed proper uh, all india kind of uh, uh, test basically we rep replicated uh, uh, the gate before the gate actually uh, occurred and that was a wonderful experience learning experience and uh, we got an all india rank we got all the analysis and all that so that should be the uh, order so you start with chapter wise tests then go to subject wise tests and in the january month of january maybe you can go with mock tests okay right so so this so full length mock test should be scheduled in just before one month of the actual exam right. Right? correct time should right. be ready with the subject okay so right uh nishant uh, for this instrumentation all india second rank how many marks you got uh, i got uh, 79.33 as far as i remember Okay, what is the score? Gate score? Gate score is uh, 941, most probably. Okay. What about this EC in ninth rank you got? Uh, huh, that is, marks? I got, uh, uh, that marks is 67.66. Okay. Score-wise? Uh, Score-wise, it is uh, 980 something, most yeah. probably. 80, right. So... Yeah, right, right. Even the rank is inferior compared to the instrumentation second rank, but the score is very good. Score in is better. Season. That uh, that you is expected. More there. Ah, right, right, right. Okay, right. Uh, uh, very good, uh, Nishant. Nishant, you have seen both the papers uh, this year. So there are many subjects that are common between the instrumentation and then the electronics, right? Right. right. So for those common subjects, if you compare, uh, which paper is relatively somewhat tough? Is it instrumentation, otherwise electronics paper? Uh, well, uh, the subjects are same, that is okay, but uh, I feel that uh, in the framing of questions, the instrumentation leans more towards uh, simple mathematics. That is not very directly related to core concepts of electronics. But for electronics, you uh, get questions which are may not be that much calculative, but they are related to the core uh, concepts. So for instrumentation, I did not... Uh, uh, like uh, had no feeling that I will be scoring that much maths because uh, this time I was not prepared at all. This was just a revision basis, right? Yeah. But when I appeared for the examination, I felt that if your aptitude is good and if you know what you are doing, then instrumentation examination, the questions are not tough. And uh, for example, I do not know uh, measurements and all that, the electrical part of the instrumentation. But the thing is, uh, that questions also, they are uh, common sense questions. Like uh, you need a linear interpolation kind of thing. You need the normal equations, which are basics. But for electronics, uh, I would not say that. Uh, for electronics, uh, you always need the core concepts. So, yeah, that is the difference between those two papers. Right. Uh, see, you got a very good rank in the instrumentation, the second rank. Did you prepare anything extra beyond the electronic syllabus exclusively for the instrumentation paper? Uh, not exactly. Uh, okay, so that is an interesting talk. I wanted to appear for electronics and electrical. So, uh, because I wanted to study electrical engineering, because I was not uh, very aware of the core concepts for electrical. So I decided that, okay, electronics is always uh, a stronghold. So let's start with electrical this time. So I uh, first, I uh, submitted the form for elect electrical. then. After one month, I think there was a uh, uh, notice that you can change your second subject. <laughs> okay. So that time, and in one month, I knew that uh, I, won't, I won't be able to uh, study electrical because I had a job going on, right? So I just joined the job and it was very hectic that time. Okay. So then I changed to instrumentation 
I just changed the second word to instrumentation, and uh, I think that you know, that was a very good decision that time. <laughs> uh, but to answer your question, no, uh, I did not uh, prepare anything extra. Uh, but I always knew that uh, for instrumentation, first the motivation is the number of aspirants are not that much. Yeah. So and second thing is, uh, I did not aim for any good uh, rank in instrumentation. So on the uh, paper, on the examination day, I was relaxed compared to electronics paper. Okay. And I think that helped. Uh, so I just applied my general sense and that worked out. Yeah, this is a good message to the other aspirants of the GATE exam, right? Not only GATE exam, any exam. Once yeah, you right. are cool, calm and composed, right? Your mind starts working like a supercomputer. You may perform right. beyond your expectations also, right? Yeah, yeah, this is one of the examples in such a case, right? Okay, right. Uh, good, uh, Anisha. See, from this uh, successful uh, experience, getting so many uh, good ranks in the gate examination, uh, Anisha, uh, please uh, give some tips or suggestions to the aspirants of the gate examination. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. So the first tip would be to start early, because that is a mistake I have seen many students commit like they are not very serious uh, till the start of july august or anything and after that they pick up the pace but then uh, the burden of the left syllabus overpowers the completed syllabus so first tip is always that start as early as possible even if you are not starting with full force you give time per week you allocate some time per week like this many hours i will be dedicating to get second thing is uh, you should always stick to one source because in today's time, I'm seeing, like in 2022, it was not that much. But uh, this year, is I'm seeing that YouTube also, an N number of platforms are there. And you have plenty and plenty of uh, free uh, mm, courses. Like right, right, right. And, okay, they are good. I agree that uh, YouTube lectures are also very good. But that uh, confuses the students. Which uh, teacher to follow, which platform to follow. So I always suggest that don't go for free initiatives at first if you can afford you pick a platform pay the price because once you pay the price now nah, you're uh, you are anyway uh, more conscious towards your preparation so choose a platform second uh, third thing is uh, the test series as i said you can you can start the test series very early the chapter wise test because the chapter wise tests do not uh, are not a testament to your preparation in any way but they will boost your morale to appear for examinations. So once you are taking the test for uh, say two to three months, after the three months, you will be more comfortable in appearing for subject wise or mock tests. So these are the few things that you always need to keep in mind. Uh, other thing is whenever you have doubt, always reach to the faculty. Because if you are uh, stuck in some doubt, you are uh, uh, not uh, doing a thesis here before gate examination. So you do not need to solve all the questions on your own. That is a, a big misconception that uh, students have. So just simply ask the faculty, get it clarified and move ahead. So these are all the tips that I would want to share. Very good, Anisha and Kumar, right? I think that these tips what you gave, very, very useful to the aspirants of the gate exam, right? Thank you so much, Anisha for sparing your time and sharing with us uh, so many valuable points, I think uh, will be very useful to the students, right? I once again congratulate you and I wish you all good luck in all your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Nishan. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you.